Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Addie, and today we are watching Interstellar. I, I think it was after I watched The Martian. I had so many recommendations for this movie, and I love The Martian so much. I think it's truly one of my favorite movies that I've watched this year. And so I know this isn't related. This is a completely different story. I guess the only connection they have is space, the general theme of space. So, but I'm so excited to watch this movie. I remember that Interstellar, when it came out, was such a big deal. I do remember that there was so much hype over Interstellar, but I just never got the chance to see it. So here we are, nearly a decade later, finally watching Interstellar. So let's just dive in. I got this. Dad? Ooh. I thought you were the ghost. Uh, no such thing as ghost, babe. Were you dreaming about the crash? Yeah. Get your butt back in bed, Marv. <laughs> Well, when we set the table, we always set the plate upside down. So much dust. Not a table, bro. What the heck do you do to my lander? Well, me. Let me guess. Is your ghost? It's called a poltergeist. Dad, uh, tell her. You said science is about admitting what we don't know. She's got you there. No, you gotta go further. You gotta record the facts, analyze, get to the how and the why, then present your conclusions. Slow down, Turbo. So that Miss Hanley, she's single. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Repopulating the Earth. What'd you do, Murph? Ah, uh, she didn't do nothing. Yeah, that's not her fault. How am I supposed to pass out here? Oh, you gotta figure it out. I'm not always gonna be here to help you. Why did you and Mom name me after something that's bad? Murphy's law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is what it can happen will happen. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. What about the flat tire? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Just driving into the corn. Go, go, go. Someone is not gonna be happy that you're just driving through this field. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, oh, we should stop. We should definitely stop. Oh. Whoa. Why'd he come down for a while? Oh. Either the sun cooked its brain or it was looking for something. Can't we just let it go? This thing needs to learn how to adapt, Mary. Like the rest of us. What did you do? They'll tell you about it when you get in there. Got this. A little late, Coop. Yeah, we had a flat. <laughs> that we still did not repair. We got Tom's scores back. He's gonna make an excellent farmer. What about college? Tom's score simply isn't high enough. We don't need more engineers. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers. Maybe your grandkids will get to be engineers. We down here, sir. Murph is a great kid, but she's been having a little trouble lately. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected version, explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. Wow. And you know, one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. The doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain. Murph got into a fist fight with several of her classmates over this Apollo nonsense. <sighs> Wow, the wor this world has changed so much. He's going through a bit of a baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy and soda. I think I'll take her to that. I got you suspended. What? Something's interfering with the compass. Magnetism, some such. And I'm special about which book. I've been working on it. Like you said, I'm trying Morse. Morse. I hear your meeting at the school didn't go so well. <laughs> not quite. We've forgotten who we are, Tom. Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. You're the one who doesn't belong. Born 40 years too late or 40 years too early. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. School says you're going to follow my footsteps. I like what you do. I don't like our farm. That seems like a pretty big deal. That looks uh, terrifying. It's doozy. 
Uh, gang, let's mask up. Just seemed to come out of nowhere. Is that our house? I like it's honestly so hard to tell. You guys shut your windows. Did she not? No. Yeah, I would not want to stay in this room. Well, now I'm thinking maybe it's a good thing that she left her window open. Because we discovered something. It's not a ghost. Mmm. Do you want to clean that up? When you're finished praying to it? <laughs> I need to study it a little bit more. <laughs> He's still staring it's not at the Morse. Steps. Or if it's binary. Coordinates. Is she in the truck? Oh, she's totally in the truck. Yeah, there she is. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> what is here? Bench from the bolt cutters. That's my girl. <laughs> Stay away no, 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 from no, no, the no, fence! Don't shoot, don't shoot. Not armed. The daughter's in the car. Don't be afraid! Oh, I'm a little bit afraid for them. Oh, that light came out of nowhere. How did you find this place? Where's my daughter? Where did you find those coordinates? Yeah, she don't look much like a lawnmower. Okay, good. There are humans Hives. here. Okay. Back down, please. Dr. Brand. And I knew a Dr. Brand one. How many people are daughter here? Daughter is fine. Involved with this operation. Must have a very smart mother. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about this place. Yes, you do. You're about to. Hello, Cooper. Professor Brand. Whoa. We learned these coordinates from an anomaly. It was gravity. Mm -hmm. You're not getting any answers from us until I get assurances. You know, my father, Professor Brand. Or NASA. NASA still exists? I heard they shut you down, sir. We're refusing okay. to drop bombs from the stratosphere on the starving people. Wait, seven years ago, okra this year. Now there's just corn. Corn will die soon. And your oh. daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. Wow. Now you need to tell me. We're meant to leave it. That's what we're doing here. I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. Ooh. An hour ago, you didn't even know I was alive. I mean, you, you, you were going anyway. We had no choice. Plans are changing very quickly around here. I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Ooh. No pressure. A wormhole. It leads where? Another galaxy. Someone placed it there. That wormhole lets us travel to other stars. It came along right as we needed it. You sent probes into it? Mm -hmm. We sent people into it. The bravest humans ever to live. Wow. Led by the remarkable Dr. Man. And one system shows promise. One system with three potential worlds? So if we find a home, then what? Did you notice anything strange about the launch chamber? difficult to get a lot of people over there and build a civilization. Well, this entire facility is essential. Some kind of vehicle. A space station? Suddenly we knew that harnessing gravity was real. But you haven't solved it yet. Over 5,000 fertilized eggs. We incubate the first 10. After that, the surrogacy, the growth becomes exponential. Yeah, what about the people here? You just... They just all suffocate? Starve? What plan A? Is a lot more fun. Find us a new home, and by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. Don't ask questions. <laughs> we farmers, we sit here every year when the rains fail, and we say, next year. Mankind was born on Earth, it was never meant to die here. Merck really didn't want you to get into this room. We're just here. Be memories for our kids. Aren't you a parent? You're the ghost of your children's future. I can't be your ghost right now. 
They chose me. You saw it. You're the one who led me to them. N-word. You know what it is? Stay. Why? You're not listening! It says stay! One for you. One for me. The time's gonna change for me. And they're just gonna run more slowly. And by the time I get back, we might even be the same age. We might go a long time without seeing him. It's not very reassuring. No idea- oh! Don't make me leave like this, Murph. I think he's gonna do it no matter what. I love you forever. And I'm coming back. Literally everyone on the planet could be dead by the time they come back. I mean, they don't know. Hey, can I use your truck while you're gone? I need your truck. Aww. I'm very curious how much time is going to pass. By the time he hopefully makes it back. <laughs> Tars is with us. Everybody good? Plenty of slaves for my robot colony? A giant, sarcastic robot. Yeah, you can use it to find your way back into the ship after I blow you out the airlock. <laughs> yeah, let's let's turn that down a little bit. We do not need the humor setting at 100%. Oh, it's scary how quiet it is. ADF, check. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. We should learn to talk. Emma, not to. We are coming up on the endurance. 12 minutes out. Okay, taking control. We can't mess up this early on. So, no, pretty much no one in the world knows that they went into space. That's crazy. Lock. Target locked. Nice. Target locked. Well done. Door's not charging. Never mind. Hello, Case. Hello, Case. Folks. Almost feels like I don't know a dance in space. Kind of makes me dizzy. Ooh. Okay, I think we have some Dramamine in the hab pot. I'm just gonna go get that. Okay. Might be in the cryo bay. I'll just be a sec. It looks good for your trajectory. We've calculated two years to Saturn. A little older, a little wiser, but happy to see you. Hopefully not too much older. I don't want him to miss out a lot of time with his kids. There's no turning back now. Here, pills. Perfect planet. We are not gonna find another one like her. Yeah. Kind of a creepy process of hibernation. <laughs> Wolf Edmonds is here. Tell me about Edmonds. Oh, uh, Wolf's a particle physicist. They don't know they've had families, huh? No, no attachments. My father insisted. And they all knew the odds against ever seeing another human being again. You know, out there, we, we would face great odds. Death, but not evil. This crew represents the best of humanity. Even me, huh? You know what? We agreed 90%. <laughs> Let's stick to 90%. Yeah, the process looks so creepy. Dr. Brand and Edmund. They close? I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. Mm. Mm of settings on this thing. Uh, Dad's about to go down for the long nap. So I wanted to give you an update. I really hope you guys are doing doing great. Oh, they did bring the truck back. Why are you in my dad's truck? <laughs> he wanted me to bring it for your brother. Murph is a bright spark. Maybe I should fan the flame. The next time you hear from Cooper, they'll be coming up on Saturn. so peaceful. They are so small. I'm sorry. I really hope Murph sends I asked message. Murph to say hi. No. But she's as stubborn as her old man. Yes. Millimeters of aluminum. That's it and then nothing. We're explorers, huh? Hmm. Oh, I bet that's so helpful. Guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Okay, we were getting very close. There, that, that, that's it. That's the wormhole. You say it, don't spray her, huh? <laughs> Whoa. It just looks like a freaking marble in the sky. Whoa. 
Oh, this is so trippy. Oh, that's terrifying to just fly right into it. Whoa. Ugh. That doesn't sound great. Whoa. We could die at any moment. Cool. It's not keep my hands as close to my body as possible. First handshake. I wonder if we do find the other people. I mean, I guess time will have been different for them too. Uh, I mean, there are just so many different factors that can change. Miller's side has kept pinging thumbs up, as has Dr. Mann's. Um, Edmonds went down three years ago. The black hole, Miller's and Dr. Mann's planets both orbit it. Black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. Every hour we spend on that planet, seven years back on Earth. Every hour? You can't just think about your family. Now you have to think bigger than that, all right? I am thinking about my family and millions of other families. But they also said that Murph's generation would be the last generation to live. Like, we don't have a lot of time here. Cooper's right. We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going down there's going to cost us. Yep. Take a wider orbit around Gargantua, parallel with Miller's planet, outside of this time shift to here. We save a lot of time. That'll work. That's good. But make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. You got it? I wouldn't leave you behind, Dr. Brand. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Ugh, I just hate how quiet these shots are. It just makes me so nervous. Ugh. This Miller's planet? Goodbye, Ranger. Whoa. Just water. We're getting so close. On my cue, Case. On my cue. I hope this is just an ocean and the entire planet isn't just water. Oh my gosh. Oh, go, 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 go. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. Mm. I would not want to walk through that water. Ugh. You don't know what's in there. There's nothing here. Should be right here. No. I would not want to be going out by myself. Are no waves. Where are they? No waves. Okay, I was wondering that because I couldn't tell if it was literally a wave or a mountain. Another one is coming. Oh my gosh, another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, Case, that's really cool. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I don't think he's gonna make it. The enemies are flooded! Okay, so this is not the planet that we're going to end up on. Too waterlogged. Let it drain. Oh, no. God damn it! I was trying to do the right thing! Can you tell that to Doyle? Doyle. What's this gonna cost us, Brand? A lot. Decades. Oh. How's the, how's the record stay together after all these years, huh? We just landed hours ago. She, she probably just died minutes ago. Oh my gosh. I'm counting every minute, same as you, Cooper. Yeah, I mean, we're all in this together. In a black hole, I came back the years. Don't shake your head at me. Mm -hmm. right. The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. They communicate through gravity, right? Yes. Could they be talking to us from the future? Right to them, time might be another physical dimension. But Cooper, I screwed mm -hmm. up. I'm sorry. But you knew about relativity. My daughter is 10 years old. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? You want to make sure your children feel safe. And it rolls out down a 10-year-old. The world's ending. How long for the engine's case? A minute or two. Oh, we don't oh. have it. Come us on. We're going to spark it. The waves are giving us enough Locked. time. Depressurizing. <laughs> engine's up. Oh, this might be it. We might be getting out of here. Is that Doyle? 
oh, that's just heartbreaking that, I mean, we don't have a choice, but... Oh, man. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. My gosh. Whoa, I didn't even think about the fact that he was waiting outside the planet. What did he sleep? Oh, I had a couple of stretches. I stopped believing you were coming back. We've been receiving, but nothing gets out. Is he alive? Oh, yeah. Oh, she might never see her father again. We've got years of messages stored. Oh, he's gonna see his kids grow up. Um, I finished second in school. I met another girl, Dad. I, uh, I really think this is the one. Oh, I was not prepared for this. Your grandpa. <sighs> he's missed so much of their lives. Oh, say bye bye, Grandpa. Bye bye, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa died last week. Uh, we buried him out in the back 40 next to Mom. Uh, I have to. Uh, right. Hey, Dad. Oh, my gosh. Today is my birthday. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. Oh, she's now the age. Oh. <laughs> this might be a real good time for you to come back. <laughs> I talk to Amelia all the time. Mm -hmm. It helps. Do I even have tissues in here? I hope I do. Also, it's cool that she's been in the past two space movies that I've watched. We cracked the equation before I kick the bucket. Don't be morbid, Professor. I'm afraid of time. Is she going to be the one to figure it out? Figure something out. For years, we've been trying to solve the equation without changing the underlying assumption about time. We've been trying to finish it with one arm, no, with both arms tied behind your back. Can we take this point up at another time? Do not go gentle into that good night. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so mm. we have to choose. I really believe Edmonds is the better prospect. Why? Gargantua, that's why. Well, if we're going to vote, there's something you should know. She's in love with Wolf Edmonds. That makes me want to follow my heart. Some evidence, some artifact of a higher dimension that we can't consciously perceive. Love mm. is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Tars, chart a course for Dr. Mand. Murph, have you eaten enough? Would you like some more souffle? Oh, no. I'm full, thanks. Louis, I have a friend who <coughs> could look at his lungs. <coughs> I imagine that's happening frequently now. No, this wasn't a personal decision. Well, if you're wrong, you might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. Um, I'll finish what you started. Good, good. Forgive me, but there's nothing to forgive. Oh, no, I, think... no, I really hope they come back. There's no way to help us. Did my father know? Oh, she's never gonna see her father again. Brand, that is. Hopefully she's still able to see her dad. I told you, right? You know. Ah, this is kind of horrifying. Oh, that can't be good. I don't think we're going to be able to live here. This isn't looking so good, though. Whoa. <laughs> he didn't know if he would ever see anyone ever again. Why is Matt Damon always stuck on some random planet? You have literally raised me from the dead. Lazarus. Wow. Wow. Our world uh, is cold, stark, but undeniably beautiful. Yeah. The air has too much ammonia in it to breathe for more than just a few minutes, but down at the surface, breathable air. To organics, possibly even to life. Kit there really did most of the legwork. <laughs> what went wrong with him, sir? Ultimately, I decommissioned him. He used his power source to keep the mission going. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. He had no pain. He told you, right? 
This was all a sham. And my father knew too. He left me here to die. No idea what she's talking about. I do. What? You know, your father solved his equation before I even left. What? But why wouldn't he use it? The laws of nature prohibit a naked singularity. That's why we called it a black hole. Okay. Why keep building those stations? Because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species instead of themselves. In order to save the species, but the people on Earth are gonna die. Because in his an arrogance. Please tell me Murph is gonna figure this out. I told you about my ghost. I call it a ghost because I don't like a person. If there's an answer here on Earth, somehow in that room. I have one last crack at the black hole. This isn't gonna cost you any time. It's a chance for the people on Earth. What's to say there isn't some way that the probe can glimpse the singularity and relay the quantum data? TARS <laughs> is the obvious candidate. Whoa. I've already told him what to look for. Before you get all teary, try to remember that as a robot, I have to do anything you say. Oh. I'd really like to secure the site by nightfall. But you're gonna need a long-range transmitter. Got it. Are you charged? Yeah. Secure those modules. My work's done here. I'm going home. That yearning to be with other people is powerful. Not wow. that improvise well, wow. because you can't program a fear of death. Tars was taking so long. Yeah. Professor, I am having trouble completing the Buddha. When I left Earth, I thought I was prepared to die. I have a bad feeling about him. Yeah, he did something to Kip. Ha! Ah! Oh, this is bad. I'm sorry. He ah! saved ah! all the data. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, whenever Tars was having issues with Kip, I had uh, I just had a bad feeling about him. You're gonna save everybody. His dad couldn't do it. Dad didn't even try! Dad just abandoned us! But he is trying. He truly didn't know. Get out. Oh, this got so intense. Don't touch me, Cooper. I think there's some judgment involved. You're just gonna let him die? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't watch you go through this. Do you see your children? Why, why would you do this to him? Rage is the dying of the night. Yeah, we need help. We really need help. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that this movie would involve murder, essentially. Security lockout, sir. It requires a person to access function. Cooper, there's been an explosion. Is he taking their only way off? Tars. I could not save you. Tars is in. I'll take him from here. We have a fix on the range. He's pushing into orbit. I know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since Tars disabled it. Put your trust hey, in Tars. Tars. Lower than yours, apparently. Sequence withheld. Override. I repeat, do not attempt docking. Oh, this is such high stakes. Is he locked on yet? And perfectly. Do not, I repeat, do not open the hatch. What happens if he blows your life? Nothing good. I don't know what he said to you. But I am taking command of the endurance. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. Oh, oh it's too late. Literally, they were still trying to save mankind. 
and it looks like you just ruined our only chance. What are you doing? Nothing. Can we do that right now? It's not possible. No. It's necessary. Oh my gosh. Ten feet out. We are lined up. Initiating split. I mean, we really don't have any other choice. Cooper, I don't think you can black out right now. Come on, doors. Come on, we're so close. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're out of orbit. Oh my gosh. That? Okay. I'm so hey, for our life, next though. <laughs> Red and then a gargantuous pool. Okay, we are not good. Cooper, we're slipping towards gargantuan. The backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. They're all good. Okay. Good. Okay. And a power slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. Manually? That sounds really risky. Lander 1 is spent. TARS will detach. And get sucked right into that black hole. Whatever you tell It's what we intended, Dr. Grant. Ready? Ready? Ready. I don't think I'm ready. Goodbye, Dr. Brent. See you on the other side, Coop. Ranger 2, prepare to detach. What? No! No! Oh, oh I didn't have to detach. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's possible that he might make it. It's all black. Now she's all by herself. Charles, do you read me? Whoa. Screens. Gaming interference. Gravitational pull, I'm losing controls. Oh, that's not. That's yeah, the end. I feel like they really need to get out of here. Well, that can't be good. Yeah. Just, just his uh. suit. This is wild. <gasps> this, wait, this is the bookshelf. Wait, is he, was it literally him communicating to Murph? How is this even possible? Can he somehow communicate with, whoa, whoa. So we just need to find present day? sent the message to stay. Whoa. She was right. Stay! Stay. Uh... It was you. Yes. Oh. Oh. They're fifth. Dimension. They saved us. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. Gravity engulfs the dimensions, including time. Transmitting an on all wavelengths, but nothing is getting out. They didn't bring us here to change the past. We brought ourselves. Mm -hmm. The dust we saw earlier. We're here to communicate with the three-dimensional world. We're the bridge. They didn't choose me, they chose our. For what, Cooper? <laughs> to save the world. How, Cooper? I love Tars love. It's just like Grant said. My connection with Murph. Who watch? That's it. Try and take that into more some to me. We have to get out of here. Please tell me she at least has the watch. Because I gave it to her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mr. Cooper. Is that Saturn? Have you made it back? 124 years old. Whoa. The Rangers found you with only minutes left in your oxygen supply. Whoa. Where are we? Cooper Station. That's a pretty cool name. What a nice you to name it after me. After it's uh, it's named after your daughter. Ah. Uh. She'll be here in a couple weeks. Of course, I, I didn't speak to her personally. Oh, oh sweet home. We found you, yes. Uh, it's at Pouchers for shop. We can get you another one if you want to. Yes. Gosh. You told him I like Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> How is she doing? Oh, she still has it all this was, time. But I knew you'd come back. Because my dad promised me. No parent should have to watch their own child die. Oh. Brand. Brand. Oh, we have to find out what happened to her. can breathe on this planet. That's a positive. Wow. 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 I, I kind of need a follow up. I mean, I mean, we know what's going to happen. Like they're going to create a civilization on that planet and start to reproduce essentially. Um, wow. I don't think, and I should have expected it, but I don't think I expected this movie to be so intense. I mean, throughout the movie, just in the first place, the stakes are just so high. I mean, we're talking about the fate of humankind here and their survival and finding a new place and to live and to survive and thrive and create a civilization. I mean, the stakes are just so high in the first place. And then, I mean, uh, like literally everything was just so high stakes. Um, everything is so dangerous. We're messing with relativity, with their, I mean, their friend, literally they went on the planet. I mean, I mean so many lives are lost in this process, but, and then they come back and then literally 23 years passed and it was just like that over and over and over again and they lost so many of their crew members and Matt freaking Damon um I trusted him I should not have trusted him apparently I I mean I loved him so much in the Martian and of course different different story completely so I just shouldn't have trusted him but I I loved his character that so much that I just immediately trusted him and he was kind of a villain in this one. It, wow, that was very intense. I did not expect that. Wow, I mean, he, he was great in the role, but. And then it just leads all the way up to Cooper trying to reach his daughter. And then you realize that throughout the movie, the ghost and all the books falling, it was the father the whole time. He was literally sending the message to stay, which she, decoded when she was just a child. I mean, everything is just woven together so well. The music just intensifies everything. And it didn't always need music at times. I mean, like any of the shots 
where it was just showing the ship from the outside. It was just complete silence. And that almost made me even more anxious because because there, there was just silence. Like I needed some sound there. So, I mean, everything about this movie was so well done. And obviously there are a lot of concepts that I don't think I can even begin to understand within this movie. I mean, it was so well done and it looks like, I mean, they're creating a new civilization. They moved people to Cooper's station. I think that's what they called it, Cooper station. Wow. Also so heartbreaking. I mean, he literally wasn't involved with his children's lives. I mean, he left when they were kids. I mean, the son was a teenager, but they were so little and they lived their entire lives without him. And all he was just doing all of this for them. Oh, all of those like video journals that they sent him just as the years went on. It's just so heartbreaking. And watching uh, Matthew McConaughey just like break down. It's just heartbreaking. It's so hard to watch. But wow, this movie was so well done. I I enjoyed this so much. And honestly, I just can't wait to watch it again already. Oh, this movie was so... I just spit. That's cute. Well, that was Interstellar. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.